does the vaccine produce, um, I'm, I'm hearing a lot about this idea of T cell immunity versus antibody immunity. Could you explain yeah. the difference of that and then maybe yeah. how the vaccine works with those different yeah. things? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so immunity is super complicated. There are really many, many facets of it. And the, like the best immunologists in the world will tell you like it, it's way more complicated than it even appears. But I'm gonna sort of simplify it because I'm not an immunologist. I'll give you like my simple understanding of immunity, uh, which is approximately right. Basically, there are two arms of the immune system. There are many, but let's focus on two. What's called humoral immunity and what's called cellular immunity. So humoral immunity, Sounds like humor, but it's basically the idea is uh, these are antibodies made by B cells. These are lymphocytes, B cells, and they make antibodies. And so basically what happens is your body sees a foreign protein and says, wait a second, that's not normal. We don't, we don't expect that here. That's not one of us. And basically makes an antibody to that protein. And then it keeps a certain amount of memory B cells around. The next time it encounters that protein, boom, produces a ton of antibodies and clears them. That's a pretty classic what's called humoral immunity response. Then there's a cellular immunity, and this is what people talk about as T cells. And these T lymphocytes are similar in, a, in ways, but also different. What they do is they go around looking at cells in your body for foreign and unusual proteins. If they see a cell with a protein that doesn't belong on the surface of that cell, it's that T cell says, whoa, 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 that cell is infected with something bad and it kills that cell. And it also learns what was that thing that it was infected with. Yeah. So you got two arms of your army and basically both of them are super helpful and you ideally would have both for, for this. Now you don't necessarily need both. You could get away with just one, not as good. What we have learned about these vaccines is it stimulates both, both your cellular immunity. So your T cells are like, you know, can now recognize a cell infected with the coronavirus and your B cells that your body can make antibodies to the coronavirus. And that combination is what makes these vaccines so powerful. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. And is there any indication that, you know, the T cell immunity might last longer than the B cell or we just don't, we just don't know? We don't know. And people talk a lot about how the antibody level. So one of the things you've seen a lot of news reports, people saying, you know, antibody levels drop, you can't detect them anymore. And I'm always like, chill out. A lot of times people's antibody levels drop doesn't mean they don't have antibodies anymore. It just means it's at a low level. And the next time the body sees the virus, it'll ramp it up again. So I have actually pretty good confidence that both arms are going to last for a long time. And I don't know if one will last longer than the other. But I think we have pretty good reasons to believe that if you've been infected, you should probably be immune for at least a year. Oh, I shouldn't say at least a year, probably at least nine months, uh, maybe up to a year. But if you've been vaccinated, I, I suspect you're going to be immune with both B and T cell uh, immunity for even longer than that. 